All right, everybody, continue on on where I left off. Actually, over here, I just uh, realized that I was speaking too fast and said the wrong answer. So over here, uh, the last problem we left off, this is 120 degree, not 60 degree, because you are rotating it twice, two times, in, <clears throat> in order for you to get to uh, the image F. So looking back over here, it says um, F is the image of D, so you're interested in D, and then you have to rotate it some way in order for you to get F. So uh, that means, looking over here, here's D, and you get to F by 1 times 60, 2 times 60, so the entire thing is 120. And then after that, so actually, you don't need to move it. If you want to, you, you can. Otherwise, you can just basically from D, you go into this one one time, that's 60, one time, another 60. So since you're going counterclockwise, it is positive. So positive 60, positive 60. Together, they are positive 120 degree. However, you can also go the negative direction, which is the clockwise position, to get uh, to F. It, so it doesn't have to be this way. It could be the other way. So let's see how, uh, how long it would take to get there. Here's one time, two time, three time, four time. So four times 60. Four rotations of 60 degrees. Would get me... 240 degree, but it's negative, so you have to put a negative on it. So it's very important that you need to know if you, whether you go negative or positive. Okay. All right. So positive this way, counterclockwise. Negative this way, clockwise. Moving on. Uh, number 19. The figure is re reflected across AD. Uh, the pre-image is EF. The pre-image of EF is, so when they say that the pre-image of EF is, that means that they're indicating that EF is the image, the result, the conclusion, whatever you call it. And you need to find the thing that is before EF. So reflecting across AD, so you have to look at AD. So going over in here, here's AD. I will draw the line and it says we are uh, reflecting EF I mean EF is the result remember EF is the image and you map it over there BC is your pre image or in this case we have to follow of course the order so making sure that we have, we have the right order EF so the answer would be E matches with B and then oh this is not E this is F I'm sorry so E matches with C and then F matches with B so that would be your answer okay moving on we have number 20 D is the image of B when reflected across what so Let's identify something. You have to be able to know uh, what you're talking about. So D is the image. So D is the result. And B is the pre-image. Okay. So looking at our diagram. Over here. Uh, D is the result. And then B is the pre-image. So you're looking at this. So the midline going across this should be this line. If you fold this line this way, if you fold it this way, it will match up. It's, it's equal distance. Equal distance. So it will fold onto itself right here. So the line is CF. Let's write that line. Let's go that up. CF is our answer. Next, number 21. Uh, F is first re reflected across BE. That image maps to B when reflected across what? 
So, um, let's see. Looking at our paper right here. Maybe I just use the one that I have. No, it's just too messy. All right, F is this one. It's first reflected across BE. So here's BE. Here's F. E is one unit away to F. So that means that D is our image. So you see that if you fold along BE, use a highlighter, if I fold along BE right here, I would have F matched to D because it's one unit away from my line of reflection. So D is my image. So since D is my image, it says uh, that image, which is D, maps to B, so the result is B when you reflect it along what line? So here's D, here's B, D and B. So the midline right here, when you fold it, it will map onto each other. It's just like number 20, so the answer is the same, C, F. Okay, next, true and false question. Okay, let's see. True or false? Rotation of 90 degree about zero map zero onto itself. Yes, it is true if zero or O, however you call it, is the center of rotation and you rotate on that center, then the pre-image and the image is the same. So it's at the exact, exact same spot. It's not moving anywhere. The answer is true. The next one. A rotation about 120 degree carry the, tri the uh, hexagon onto itself. 120 is uh, a multiple of 60. So let's just do it. Multiple of 60. That means how many 60 would go into 120 uh, so that the hexagon would map onto itself. So you cancel this one. So that would be two rotations. Remember, it's always you have to have whole numbers in order to get uh, a good rotation because you can't have a 2.5 rotation. That's not going to get you to your image. Uh, how about, uh, so that would be true for number 23. Now number 24, you have 250. Uh, so you want to see how many 60 degree or how many rotation would I get if I uh, divide that into 250. So if I, using my calculator, I divide that out and uh, that would give me 4.1 rotation. I can't have a decimal as my rotation. It has to be a full rotation or it's not going to be mapping onto itself. So this one will not carry the hexagon onto itself. So that means that number 24 is false. Next one, number 25. The rotation of 180 degree about O will map F to C. So let's see what that means. That means we have 180 degree. How many rotations can we get? if each rotation is 60 degree. So you bring that in, so that would be three rotations. Let's see if three rotations would get F to C. Okay, so we're right here, here's our center, here's F. Three rotations, and it's a positive rotation, so we go this way. So using this picture, we are using, this is the first rotation, that is the first 60, and we have to do three of them. Here's the second one, and then here's the third one. It matches onto C, so it is true. You can do that. Just go ahead and rotate that. So here I have this one, and I'm rotating it. Here's F, rotating 1 times 60, 2 times 60. And then, since that's F here, 1 times, 2 times, 3 times. So I'm saying it wrong. Here's 1 times 60, here's 2 times 60, F is still here, and then 3 times 60 it gives you uh, to see, so that is also true. Continuing on the next uh, clip, please.